Hey, what's up guys? It's Duct here, and today I'm making a video on the most efficient ways to enchant items. So this was actually an extremely requested video in my last video on how to get XP. It, the top comment, it literally has over 100 likes already, like 103 likes in like a couple, like, I don't know, like eight hours or something. It's insane. Also, guys, I did want to go ahead and promote my Twitter and Discord real quick. So my Twitter will be down in the description. I've been tweeting a lot recently about everything to do with Skyblock, all my videos, all the channel progress. So if you do want to check that out, it will be down in the description. And also the Discord, we have a current giveaway going for a lot of stuff. Uh, there will be a screenshot on the screen of everything that is being given away. Uh, and you join the Discord and there's a hashtag giveaway channel there. And uh, we also notify everybody out when I'm streaming and when I upload videos. And also there's just a really cool community there. And yeah. So if you don't join that, go ahead and uh, let's let's get into this video now. All right, so first off in the how to get XP video, we got a lot of XP. So now we have 215 levels on us, so we're actually, we're on the way there. You know, do we actually need 215 levels to do this? No. We're, our goal is to not need 215 levels to enchant, right? So well, let's, let's do our best not to, okay? So I do have some books already enchanted here. So first of all, we have Sharpness, Lifesteal 3. We have Sharpness 5 and Lifesteal 3 already. We have Vampirism, and we have Looting 3, and we have Lethality 5. So we're, we're looking pretty decent. Uh, we are obviously going to need a lot more enchants than just these, but this is this is a decent start, you know. We're looking okay. Now, I thought about doing a bow as well. The thing is, I don't actually have a current bow that's worth, like, actually putting a bunch of enchants on. I could technically do one, but it would be on, like, a default bow or something. Like, I don't have an extra hurricane bow or something that I could sell. So I, I felt like I should just not do a bow. And really, this is pretty much all the enchants you would want on a bow. And uh, bows are cheaper than swords anyways, and they're done very similarly. So I figured I'll just do a sword, and you can do a bow from basically knowing how to do a sword. All right, so first off, you want to get your enchant table down to level 28. That's going to be the most efficient level that you're going to get a lot of your lower level books at. So like most of your tier 3 books. So your experience 3, your scavenger 3, those kinds of things, you're going to be getting at level 28. That's going to be the most efficient level to get those at. We're going to go ahead and try to get our first book, either Scavenger 3 or Experience 3, and we'll be right... Oh, never mind. Uh, wait, we already found one. Okay, you know, uh, I will definitely take that very quickly. So now we just need to go ahead and get Experience 3, and we'll be set. All right, there we go. So that didn't take too long, probably like 30 seconds to get Experience 3. So you should definitely be able to find these enchants relatively quickly at level 28. It's really not going to be that big of a problem. All right, so here's another book that we can get at 28 that we're going to need. We're going to definitely need First Strike 4. This is one a ton of people ask me about. We get it at level 28, guys. That's the lowest we can get it, and it's not that hard to find. I found it, like, 15 seconds after, like, putting the book in. It wasn't necessarily what I was going for right away, but that's definitely a book that we need. And I'm going to keep going at 28 till we have all the books we need at level 28. And I'll stop at each one that we need, so y'all actually know what we're getting. We got Thunderlord 5, it's 28 levels, it's not very good, but it's an enchant, and we're trying to get, like, practically all of them for this, so, you know, I guess it works. Alright, so the next book we're going to be getting is Telekinesis. You can literally get this from an enchant table, no bookshelves around it. You can actually get it as low as level 1. I'll probably be willing to spend a little more than one level, but, you know, if that's... Basically, I'm just going to check all three of these, because you can get, actually get it at any level of these, so... You can literally get this at any level you enchant at, but you might as well get it as low as possible, or at least in the like bottom five levels at least. So anyways, I'll be back whenever we find it. It's not like the easiest to find, it's just not that hard to find either. Alright, so we found Telekinesis, level one, nice. Alright, so there we go, we got Telekinesis. So yeah, we're, we're, we're on the way to getting our sword looking pretty decent, pretty decent. Alright guys, so all you have to do to check what level you're at is actually just place like a bookshelf. Check what level by putting a book in, and bam, we're at level 44. All right, so we want level 42, actually, for what we're about to go for. We're actually going to be going for Execute 5. So uh, wish me some luck as we, uh, we try to get some Execute. So you can actually get Vampirism at level 40, but we just found it at level 42. Honestly, those two levels, definitely going to be taking the Vampirism at level 42. Uh, so yeah. The other enchants we need to find at this level are Luck. Uh, we can also find Execute, we can also get Giant Killer here, and that should be the main ones. There might be one more that I'm missing, but yeah, those are the primary ones we're going for here. Oh, and also Impaling as well. Alright guys, we're back. It took us a little while longer than we thought, because uh, I put the books in the chest when I was done enchaining them all last night. I was going to record in the morning, 
and half the books were gone in the morning because Thordic decided he was going to use them on an aspect at the end. Which meant that I had to get all the books back again, uh, which we have managed to do. We managed to do it. Uh, it took us the it took us the entire live stream to do, but we managed to get all the books back somehow. But yes, so we have the books back. So now we can finally combine the books and enchant our weapon. All right, guys, so first we're going to add our Sharpness, Luck of the C5, and Giant Killer 5 book with our Telekinesis, Fire Aspect 2, Experience 3 book. So this is going to be giving us a book with six enchants on it, five of which we're going to be putting on our weapon. Now, this is the first enchant, so we're putting a lot of enchants on in one, but we're not adding all of our books at once, but we're also, what we're not doing, especially not, is adding one book at a time. If you add one book at a time to a weapon, the last couple enchants are going to be extremely expensive. That's how you get to the 200, 400 XP levels, just add one more enchant. You don't want to be doing that. So what you want to do is actually combine books together so you're adding multiple enchants at a time. Because how it works, the more amount of books that you've combined to put onto a weapon, the higher the cost to add to another one to the weapon is going to be. Now you also don't want to just add all of your enchants on one book because that's going to be extremely expensive as well. So that's why you do this strategy of doing a couple enchants at a time. Usually I suggest three to five at a time is going to be the limit. I wouldn't go over five. So we're going to put each book in each side of the anvil. So you do want to go for the cheapest way, obviously. So I switch them around, it's 30. I switch them around again, 16. So we're going to go with the 16 option. And this is going to give us our Sharpness, Telekinesis, Fire Aspect, Expanse 3, Giant Killer, Luck of the Sea book. So then we're going to add that book to our Ember Rod. You could do this with any weapon, but this is the Ember Rod. This is the weapon that we're going to be using. So now it's going to tell us that we need 36 XP levels to combine this. We need three more levels. So I'm going to go ahead and get these levels and then we'll go ahead and be able to combine this. All right, so we got our 36 levels. We throw the Ember Rod in there. We throw the book in there and bam, we got our Ember Rod with all those enchants on it. We can't read them off because of our scale, but uh, once we add another one more enchant, will be able to they'll all be condensed and we won't see the description of all the enchants also guys you do want to make sure that you put sharpness on your weapon first so that you have any books that have bane of arthropods or something like that you're have you're going to retain the sharpness and not retain the bane of arthropods or any of those other enchants that you can't have with sharpness all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and add vampirism scavenger 3 and first strike together if you're adding books that only have one enchant you're going to be putting onto your weapon you're probably going to want to add only three enchants now you could do four technically, I would not do five if the, each one you're adding only has one enchant you need. Now if there's ones that you have multiple enchants that you need, then you can go ahead and add four or five enchants with one. Alright, so first we're going to combine the first strike, power, and the scavenger book. So this is going to get our first strike and scavenger onto one book for nine levels. Nice. And then we need to add the vampirism on there. That's going to take 19 or 25. We're going to go with 19. All right, so we combine these for 19 levels. Bam. We got the efficiency, power, scavenger, first strike, vampirism book. So then we're going to add that on to our ember rod. It's going to give us all of our enchants we got shown there. Needs 33 levels. All right, guys, so actually I decided to add cubism onto our like book we're making here. So we're going to have four enchants adding on. Uh, I tested it to add the book right here. It would take 33 levels. So let's see how many what's going to take if we add a fourth enchant and see what's going to be the difference. All right, so now it wants 60 levels to combine this. So it is quite a bit more levels, but we are getting a bunch of enchants on at once. So that is going to be pretty efficient. All right, so we're going to add this book on here and get all of our juicy enchants. 60 levels, not too bad. Definitely going to be getting our Ember Rod into the pretty good category here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what we got on so far. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, we can add our, what do we got on here? It's nine enchants so far, not bad. We added five and four. All right, so now we're gonna be adding our Ender Slayer, Giant Killer, Venomous, and Cleave Five. We already have Giant Killer on our sword, so unfortunately it's not gonna do anything, but we do need to add these books together. Anyways, so we're gonna first find the cheapest way to add them. So that's 30 levels, that's 15. 15 is probably going to be the lowest. Of course, we are adding a lower level book. Let's see what can we do that cheaper? No, it's going to be the same price. All right. So it really doesn't matter which order we do this in. It's going to cost us 15 levels. So then we're going to have to add these books together 46 or 34. So we need 34 levels to combine those. And here we 
go. So now we got the Venomous, Cleave, Feather Falling, Pra, Inner Slayer, Giant, Killer, and Sharpness book. We throw that on here, and it wants 55 levels. Not too bad, so we're adding three more enchants for 55 levels. And we're looking pretty good. We know after we get that, we're pretty much going to be only... I think we're going to have like three or four enchants left after that. Not sure, we'll see. Alrighty, so now we can add these enchants on here. 55 levels, and ba-bam, here we are. Alright guys, we got six books left. We have... Luck 5 that we need to add, Lifesteal 3, Critical 5, Looting 3, Lethality 5, and Execute 5. And that will be every enchant obtainable in the game on our weapon. Well, besides Knockback. Alright guys, so I decided to go ahead and spread out the cheaper books. So, the cheaper books are going to be the ones that don't have as many enchants on them. So, we have these two here, the 2 and 3 enchants paired with a 4 enchant. And then over here, we have 2 4 enchants and a three enchant. Spreading out is gonna make it so none of the combinations are going to be extremely expensive, and that's really what we're going for here. All right, so we'll start off with the cheapest combination, the Lifesteal three with the Lethality five book. That's only gonna cost us 22 levels. Then we're going to need to go ahead and add that to this big Mama Huni for looting three, basically. So that's gonna cost us 36 levels. All right, we add these together and we get our book that we got the looting three lifesteal and lethality that we're going to be adding to our ember rod. To do this, we need 58 levels, so it's not gonna be too bad really. And then we're gonna have the last three we need to combine and add those as well and we'll be set. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. We can't even see all the enchants on the ember rod afterwards. Make sure no knockback because that would be very scary. And uh, bam, all right. Uh, so now they, <laughs> there's our uh, Ember Rod so far. Uh, what are we at? We're at 14 enchants. Not bad at all. So we got the last three enchants. We'll be at 17 enchants. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So first we're going to add one of the bigger books with the smallest book in this group. So we're going to be getting basically all we want out of this is critical and execute. So we combine these and that's 22 levels. So the next combination, we're gonna take the one we just made because that's gonna have the most enchants, five enchants. We're gonna add that onto the four and that one's going to take 40 levels. All right, there we go, 40 levels. Bam, we got our last book. So we're gonna be adding, what are we adding? We're adding, so we're adding execute, critical and luck. It's going to take us 81 levels. So uh, no 200, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right guys, we're ready. We got the XP. We can max out this <laughs> Ember Rod of Gods. Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm ready for this. 81 levels for 17 on the 17th enchant. I, I, I'm proud. I'm proud. We did it, guys. Every needed enchant. Uh, we don't have knockback. We don't have knockback. Because why would we want knockback? And that should be all we don't have. Someone's going to be commenting below, and I missed like one enchant. I don't think I did. I don't think I did, but it's possible. I'm sorry if I did. All right, guys. So we're actually going to go ahead and reforge this. Uh, pretty much all pretty much all we want out of this is legendary or spicy, which uh, we can't even check. There we go. All right. So we got spicy. What spicy does is plus three strength, plus 1% crit chance, plus 32% crit damage. That's really good. And plus 7% attack speed. So it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's probably right underneath the legendary category. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and auction this for 24 hours because... Well, I don't need it. I have my Aspect of the End and Golem Sword, and I know some of y'all might want it. And I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of money out of it since I did work like eight hours on this video. Not exaggerating, because Thordic. Anyways, guys, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, consider liking the video. It helps me out a lot, helps promote it, and all of that. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content here on my channel. And also, we did recently launch membership. If you want to consider joining, you can. It'll tell you all the perks that you get from it when you click on the blue join button down below or from a join button on my channel page. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, guys. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to start doing at the end of all my videos. We're going to have a special shout out to all of my tape fanatics and tape addicts. Uh, which are like different tiers of the memberships. So first I'd like to shout out all of the Tape Fanatics, Andrew, ATR Vibes, Dark Dwayne, Greenly, UW, Doxy X, WowJ, The Last, EverG501, Angel of Death, LGB It's Aura, Sod, and L. Thanks so much guys. And lastly, but definitely not least, a special shout out to all my Tape Addicts, 
Leon, Atticus, 52 and 2. Oh my god, it's Perry and Smiley TV. Thanks so much, guys. It's, I really appreciate it.